Hey there! Today we're doing a run with the Elementalist to show off how strong he can really be. Recently, we uploaded a video on the kunai that was entirely based in objectivity and not at all in opinions. But at the end of the day, what's the difference? I joke, but anyways, I stated in the video that Elementalist felt a bit weak to me. Immediately after my kunai run, I tried to disprove that statement, and this is what I cooked up. Enjoy. Oh my god, is that sawed offs that do burn damage? Yes, please. Elementalist is happy right now. As the name implies, the Elementalist thrives when incorporating elemental damage and effects into their build. Starting off with dual shotties having a burn effect on them would bode very well for this run. Not to mention, I'm just a huge fan of dual shotties in general, they are my second favorite dual wield weapon in the game. Increased explosion damage, but decreased radius, we'll take that. Uh, da, 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 da. Increased fire rate by 15. Um, I'm gonna get warning blast. So I'd rather have my gun do more damage than fire rate just because of low magazine size right now. One of the benefits we get right off the bat from having an elemental weapon to start the run with is the bonus damage from Mantra. This is Elementalist's passive ability. Every 10 seconds, the Elementalist will cycle between Burn, Shock, and Cryo as their Mantra element. When dealing damage that matches your current Mantra, you'll do 15% increased elemental damage at base rank. This can be improved through Mantra perks as you level up, making elemental weapons incredibly strong, as well as the Elementalist's abilities. Now, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of gun runs. Usually, I tend to have more fun when my weapons are doing most of the work, and my abilities serve as complements to my guns. I'll usually prioritize things like moving around, buffing my weapon damage, and reloading my weapons when selecting abilities, and I tend to avoid ability damage. That's not to say the abilities of these classes can't do damage, it's just that I prefer when my guns are doing the heavy lifting, because it makes it feel more hands-on to me. Uh, increase weapon and... Comet auto crit chance, that's very strong. I forgot that perk name, the one that makes you gonna have elemental dependent much. Yeah, that one is incredible. That's probably the strongest perk that Elementalist has, in my opinion, because that's the one that really gets everything going. I, I think I just saw a bow tie back there, and if I did, that's a very big deal. Thank you so much for the follow, seriously, appreciate it. We skipped out on Flower Pot. Um. We did just skip out on Flower Pot, so that, that was a thing that we just did. Hopefully we can get the one perk that makes it some of the status effects, though. Flower Pot is one of, if not, the best defensive item you can get in this game, because it reduces the effect of crowd control status effects on you by 70%, which is game-changing. A lot of times, you can lose a really strong run because you get stunned or hacked, and just get hit by a flurry of attacks in that short window of downtime. I chose offensive items over the Flower Pot, which is a pretty tough decision to make, especially since I'm not nearly as confident with my survivability with Elementalist as I am with something like Recon or Ranger. But I wanted to find the strength of the Elementalist in this run, so I was focused more on offensive items anyways, to get the fires burning, both figuratively and literally. We're cruising right now. 
except uh, we're also almost completely dead right now. Stuns are awful. God damn it. You little bastard. Stunning me out here. We could immediately feel the effects of not taking the flower pot. And there's infused weapons. I didn't even need to look at the rest. We grab infused weapons all day there. And increase fire rate by 20. Ooh, that actually sounds pretty good. But we also have mantra, and we do like mantra. I'll take rapid fire though, just to get it out of the loot pool. You know, just to get it out of the loot pool. This run was gonna start getting pretty crazy. We just picked up infused weapon, which is a perk that applies whatever our mantra element is to our weapon. Now, this is an addition to whatever elements the weapon may roll with already, meaning that whenever my mantra is cryo or shock, I will be dealing both that element and fire damage with these shotties. This run is going to get hectic really quickly because of this, but there's one other perk that pairs beautifully with this and can take us to the next level, and I do not say that lightly. Hopefully, Lighting we can find it. Explosive grenades. You know, I'm actually not going to take that. Uh, I'm going to take the power cells just because I don't do too much sliding. And if I do, I'm not going to be doing it offensively, so. Um, I gotta take the, the shock damage here. Gotta take the shock damage. That's what I mean by elementalist. It's just a very item-hungry character, though. Like, there's a lot of items that make elements have, like, very decisive benefits that have a massive sway over the way that elementalist plays. So you usually want to go for all the elemental items. Uh, but obviously that's a very heavy price to pay. So it feels like you're always just, like, you know, really struggling. You're very hungry for power cells whenever you play elements, which is, they're just a very item-heavy class to play. Kind of wish that we'd have higher drop chances of items. Like, I wish it would be, like, heavily weighted in favor of items from, like, Dugga. Uh, like whenever you use the shovel to dig up loot, I really wish it would be like a lot more weighted towards items of like white and green rarity. Now, I really wish past me would have spoken up during this section, but if you missed it, I basically explained that one of the downsides to Elementalist is the lack of power cells during your runs because of how item hungry the class is. Obviously, you want to get as many beneficial items as you can with all classes, but there are a ton of items in the game that provide elemental buffs or interactions, and picking up all of these is a substantially heavier burden on your wallet than most items that you prioritize with other classes. I'm loving these dual shotties right now. The sawdoffs are putting in the work. See, oh my god, another Dr. Turret. Why does he have to be so beefy, man? I do not like Dr. Turret. Now, Dr. Turret is my least favorite first boss to fight because of the defenses they have compared to Digimol and Billy Boom. The other two just drop like three times as quick as this guy does. This is obviously the trade-off for being a stationary target, but their large health pool paired with their tiny crit spot just makes the fight seem tedious to me. This obviously varies from build to build, but as a player who focuses on guns and being able to hit crits with those guns, this boss is my nemesis. Uh, 
yes, we want Battle Mantra here. <laughs> we absolutely do want Battle Mantra here. Maybe because he's stationary? Yeah, that could be it. That could be it. Battle Mantra is phenomenal for gun runs with Elementalist, because whenever our Mantra cycles, we get infinite ammo and 30% increased fire rate for 1.5 seconds. That doesn't sound like much, but it's basically a free reload, but the nice part is that Mantra cycles passively and doesn't require any inputs from me, making it so that we can maximize our uptime with guns. Anything that lets us spend more time shooting and less time doing things like reloading is a win in my book. Here we go. Chris shock damage by 20%. Yeah, we'll take that. We will take that. Damn. Honestly, with how our current build's going, we could go give Doom Guard a try. We could go give Doom Guard a try. I just hope we don't throw away our run. There's a very high chance we're gonna throw away our run if we go Doom Garden. But I kinda wanna go for it. I kinda really wanna go for it. Let's give it a let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. getting stunned oh yeah we'll have a great time we'll have a great time with it We were taking a ton of damage and moving rather slowly. I started to panic thinking this would be the end, and on such a blessed run too. Starting off with burn shotties and getting infused weapon early on, I couldn't lose it here. I had to pick up the pace and stay out of harm's way. I refused to lose the run here. There we go, very clean. 
That's what we like to see. We managed to pull it off and it never gets old pulling off a successful Doom Gardens. I do like that, but I want to reroll one more time. Really? That's a shame. We'll do elemental damage. I wish the devs would add more incentive like this to other side areas to make them more relevant later in the game after grabbing their dedicated loot the first time. The reason Doom Gardens has so much incentive is not just purely for the skill point, but for the fact that you aren't sacrificing the XP of the remaining enemies in fields to get it. You pop out at the Aqua Station with the same overall progress as you do in fields, meaning that you can essentially get a free skill point whenever you complete Doom Gardens, with the only trade-off being the risk of death. Oh, forgot to heal up. Thank you, sir. Percent mantra and reduce the cycle duration by 40%. Yes, please. Let's go dynamic mantra. I'll pair beautifully. So yeah, finding dynamic mantra is a big deal with our build because it increases our mantra's passive mantra. damage by an additional 5%. But more importantly, it reduces the time it takes to cycle elements from 10 seconds to just over six seconds. Meaning that our battle mantra will proc more often, which lets us have even more instances of infinite ammo and increased fire rate. Big win for us. Oh, we're loving these sawed offs. get out of there this build is really coming together whoa dual stingers and that deal burn damage I'm actually gonna take those we might not stick with them but I do like that big fan of that as well all right um I'm actually not gonna upgrade them see here yeah no let's do a dual singers real quick that was a big checkpoint room for us we managed to pick up the dual stingers which are my favorite dual wield weapons because of their crit capabilities and it had a burn element on it that's great for this run but we also grabbed the cucumber which gives us 15 percent increased damage when we have no scratch damage this basically means we have a permanent 15 percent increase to our damage well at least most of the time when you're not getting hit left and right like I am right now. Energy Labs is always the best place to gauge the viability of your current runs build. It is in my opinion the hardest stage in the game outside of the Iris fight, Haven and District 13 are pretty okay. XP and loot heavy, so I always see them as a reward for getting through Energy Labs. If my run is destined to fail, the Energy Labs will most likely be the place where it happens. You always have to keep on your toes here. Further reduce mantra cycle duration. Let's do that. Oh, hold on. Oh wait, no, 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 no. We definitely want quick loop.
Yeah, the dual stingers are absolutely tearing things up. I love these things, by the way. I'm a huge fan of dual stingers. They're probably my favorite dual wield weapon in the game. Dual wield weapon in the game. They're just, they're great. Big fan of these akimbos more than anything else. They're even better when you have the alt fire, that's the scattershot alt fire. That one's amazing. Uh, yeah, we'll take toaster here. We, I think we absolutely take toaster there. Do we gamble? Do we gamble with the Wonka bar guy? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It paid off. It. Let's go. Big gamba moment. It's perfect already. Monster shorter cycle. Hold on, let me see what this guy's about. Increased cryo damage by 20%. Yes, we will take that. We will, will definitely take that. Um, I don't even need that. I don't need that. It, it'll be fine. You think you like you like all duels except for the stingers, dude? I love the stingers. I, I, they're just so strong. They're just so strong, especially in precision builds. I mean, we're not exactly running a precision build right now, but I mean, you can see they're popping off. These things are going nuts right now. I think my least favorite akimbo weapon is the dual uzis i really don't like the dual uzis like at all mantra bonus um yes please as you can see, we're just tearing through energy labs, and remember in Ruins when I said that Infused Weapons pairs beautifully with a certain perk? Well, we still haven't run into that perk. But if we do, the power of the Elementalist will vastly improve, and just break the game, honestly. Get in there. This is you need to be a bit of a buff. Very low damage just heats your mag immediately. Yeah, they just don't. I don't know. They just don't seem. I don't think they're fun to use. I think they just. They, they don't really have a good feel to them. Goodbye, Judge Ball. It was fun while it lasted. Goodbye. Good Yusuke reference for any Persona 5 fans out there. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Kay. Welcome back. Yeah, we'll absolutely take credit card with this. And we will be absolutely taking Candle. Fly Swatter. Ooh, wait, is this Kazoo? We do have kazoo right here. I think. It, wait, we have enough. We have enough for like everything. I forget. This is awesome. This is great. All right, let's get in there. 
thank God for winning the candy bar gamble earlier, because this room had plenty of options for us to choose from. I was feeling strong before the boss fight with Judge Ball, and after deleting him and picking up these new items, I felt unstoppable. God forbid I get the perk I'm looking for, or Iris might just call it a day and turn herself off before I can even get there. Rebel Wizard, this could be good. Um, increase, or never mind, Power Infusion just seems so much stronger. We'll take Power Infusion. Let's go see what's in this the cinema. Let's go check out the cinema real quick. Ooh, we do like scissors, but no, we'll take the microphone. Ah, oh, look, it's sawed-offs that do shock damage. I would grab those, but I think we're I think we're just gonna stick with stingers for the rest of the run. I do love my dual sawed-offs, but our dual stingers are they, they I mean they're they're here to they're here to stay, alright. They have been quite rambunctious this run. Alrighty, Trinity, Comet, or Crit Damage. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get Trinity Infusion out of the way. Just so we can free up some more room for, uh... What's the one... Why can't I remember its name? What's the one that, uh, increases the damage by 20% by every... For every status that's, like, currently applied on a target? That's also just, like, incredible. We want to grab that. I don't know if we're going to get it this run. It's avoided us for so long. I just feel like we're not going to get it. Big stadium moment. It's a nice tomahawk. It is a nice tomahawk. I don't know if I've actually ever used the dual vipers now that I now that I think about it. After seeing the weapon, I was like, wait a minute, what are these? I don't think I've ever used them. Other storefront. Oh god, it's over here. Can I be quick enough? Oh, there's enemies anyways, so it's worth more enemies to fight. More XP to be gained. Come on, have something good for me in here. Hero Cape deals cryo. Uh, I mean, we'll take it. I don't really use Hero Cape ever. I rarely use my crouch functionality. Should really use it more often. Hustle. Here we go. That was a 
pretty quick haven, honestly. 355, 100%ing it always. Yeah, we're currently running infused weapon, I believe. Mm -mm -mm. Energy weapon damage. So here's the question. Does it count as a reload if my, uh, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, when Mantra Cycles reloads your weapon. Does that count as a reload for the sake of the thimble? Yeah, because if that increases my fire rate even more, it's great. Wait, what are you talking about right now, Dark? Are you okay? What's happening? per usual we just cleave our way through the city and hope the loot caves are rewarding along the way i was itching to get into another boss fight and see the health bar drop fire rate um sure <laughs> why not this is just goofy <laughs> i love it No way, this is how the run ends. I'm trying to slide. Oh, we got out. We had to do a slide jump. Well, that was terrifying. It was definitely a close call. Definitely a close call. Um, we'll take Hourglass. We'll take Hourglass. Bit of a slower fire rate. I mean, look at that. That's basically just... Is it... It's not even, like, noticeable, honestly. Like, our fire rate is still so fast with these things right now. Monster cycle duration of that element. I don't really care for that too much. Trinity cooldown. I'll take erratic bolts. That seems pretty solid.
Let's see here. Turrets. That's a thing, though. Um, does, does Uncle Jim count as a turret? And does Iris Phase 1 count as a turret? These, these are important questions. Yeah, so this damage is just absolutely absurd. At this point in the run, I'm not expecting to get the perk we want, but honestly, if we had it, we'd just turn into a walking war crime, so it certainly isn't necessary. Just something I wanted for the sake of feeling like I'm bringing the end times upon Iris and her minions. You don't know? Gotcha, gotcha. having the code for that one. I'm sure there's people that know. I'm sure there's people that have answers for that. I, I can ask the Discord later. That jinxed fellow that gave me information for my YouTube video. He's, he's a phenomenal source of information. He knows everything. I can go ask him. Very cool guy. Shout out to him, by the way. Jinxed Murfit for anyone that wants to know, like, hardcore. He's, he's basically a human encyclopedia for this game. So if you ever have specific questions like that, make sure you uh, check out Jinxed Murfit. Extremely helpful individual. Comet also deals a random element. Sure. Honestly, we leveled up early enough in this room that hitting level 15 isn't out of the question. Though it was doubtful, a small part of me was holding on to the hope that we could hit level 15 in the next room and get a chance at the perk we were seeking. For anyone interested, the perk we're looking for is called Elemental Resonance, and it increases the damage a target takes by 20% for each element it's affected by, meaning that we could be doing a potential 60% increased damage to bosses that we are affecting with all three elements, something that our build specializes in. This would break the game beyond all belief and would be hilariously dangerous if it fell into our hands. Sadly, it was looking as if fate had sided with the safety of the planet instead of my power fantasy this run. Very sad. There we are, level 15, maybe. Um, yeah, let's just increase elemental damage. I certainly didn't need the increase to damage, but I of course wanted it, and I was a little sad that it didn't roll for us. But it won't matter. Iris will still feel the pain this build will inflict. Ooh, strawberries? Yes. Yes, we of course take strawberries here. Okay, let's get it. I hate that those hit you regardless of how high up in the air you are. Yeah, Iris just got cooked. We saw this coming from and, a mile uh, there away. There we go. Twenty-eight thirty-two. I wonder if that's. And there you have it. The elementalist my, uh, is absolutely a strong class, but I personally feel like the stars have to align for it to feel this strong. 
Between the stages, you get your perks you're looking for. Mixed with the necessity of elemental items, it makes the class pretty tough to play for anyone that doesn't know what they're looking for when starting the run. But my god, when everything does line up, this class is easily competing for strongest in the game. But yeah, let me know what you think of the Elementalist and what your favorite class is in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. It helps me out massively and I appreciate it greatly. If you ever want to hang out live, check out my Twitch in the description below. I hope you all have a great day. I'm Hatterax, signing off. Peace. We're going to put out a video for Elementalist. Help me think of a clickbait fucking blowing your eyes out of your skull title for the elemental.